up, guys? CP the Tool Addict. Woo! We got wrenches. <laughs> we got lots of wrenches. We're going to talk about wrenches today. I have a pile of wrenches. We got Capris. We got Mash. We got Snap-ons. We got SKs. We got Cornwells. We got Blackhawks. Uh, what else do we got here? We got Mountains. Uh, we got Craftsman's. Uh, we got uh, Gear Wrench. We got them all. So we're going to do a quick video. Probably going to lead into some more videos. I definitely am looking forward to seeing the top the comments that come on this one. We're going to talk about wrenches and what one. A lot of people, this is preference. I believe this is preference. I honestly believe in my heart that a lot of people, there's a lot of people that like snap-on wrenches. Um, they have a great finish to them. They're well made. There's nobody, there's no denying that. A lot of people are talking about the precision torque wrenches, and uh, I've been using these things for a couple months now, and I'm telling you what, I'm not disappointed. And, and a lot of people have been asking me about the Mac knuckle saber wrenches, what I think about the Mac knuckle saber wrenches. Well, these have been my go-to for a long time, and until I started using these precision torques, that has kind of changed. Uh, I also have been using the Capri wrenches, and uh, they're not terrible. SKs. SKs, I've had these suckers for a long time too, and I'll tell you what, these have been my go-to. These were my first wrench set. These were my first good wrench set that I bought, and I am not. I've never had a problem or complain about these. So, that being said, let's bust on into this. We're gonna jack it all up here, and we're gonna talk about wrenches. Now, something that I think a lot of people might find interesting is, is take a look at that bolt right there. That is a metric grade eight bolt. Um, this is a 13 millimeter snap-on wrench flank drive and uh, we'll get that set right in there and we're going to talk about that guy right there look at that she's got a little bit of she's a little sloppy she's a little sloppy so cp what's that got to do with anything well let's pull out the old sk half inch well, why are you pulling out a half inch cp well let's just go ahead and slide this bad boy in there Oh man, that's a that's a tight fitting that's a tight fitting gem right there, CP. Oh yeah, yeah. You see that, guys? Ah, uh, sorry, a little schmooze on my lip. The 13 millimeter and the and the 12 and the uh, half inch are very very similar, guys. Very very similar. Much like the 7 eighths is similar to a 19 millimeter. Um, there you're gonna find a few of those sizes, and I actually know. A couple mechanics that have bought metric wrenches just to intermediate their standards and that's all they've ever used so uh, don't be surprised if someday you are using a half inch wrench pull it out and the bolts are metric because uh, that tends to happen I've done it lots of guys done it uh, you know it is what it is now if it's a little rusty chances are that's where that t little looser tolerance for that 13 millimeter is gonna get you in there and you'll notice the difference of it because if it's got a little if it's got a little, bleh, you know, a little schmooze on the top of her there, you're not going to get that old half inch in there probably to stick on that guy. Um, let's just look at the uh, opened in side of that, or the closed in version of that. I got so many wrenches right here. Let's check it out and see now how it fits in the closed in version. It is super tight in there. Super tight in there, guys. It, it is very tight. So if you if you figure that rent or that bolt has a little bit of corrosion, the old uh, little rusty, trusty stuff there, you're probably not going to get that in that old uh, half-inch slot very well. All right. Let's go on here now because we're going to get down to why, what I like, and what my favorite wrench is. We've got flex ratcheting wrenches. These are the Cornwells, and these are 12-point. And we're kind of going to touch a little bit on this. Why? I'm a big stickler about 6-point, and that's only because I live in the Rust Belt, and I always got to deal with rusty crap. So the 12-point is not a bad option and the reason why a lot of guys like 12 point especially in the south is because you have a lot more you have a lot more options to get on the bolt you know if you're trying to get on a bolt you're not going to have to move the wrench as far to get on it because it's going to get into a slot a little bit easier that's the big thing about six, 12 point a lot of guys will say i've never used needed a uh, six point well sure you haven't because you live in florida you don't see the rust like we do or you live in california six points are not Six points are nice because they get all of that grip on a fastener all the way through here. Oh, let me get that on there like that. They grab a hold of that thing tightly and snug it up in there. Now that is a 13 millimeter and she is in there nice and snug. She fits in there 
super nice and snug and I love the six point now when I'm trying to get on a bolt in a six point and I have to you know let's just look at this real quick you pull this out you're gonna have to turn this thing that far you know versus a 12 point would probably be about that far to get on that thing so you got you got about another quarter degree you know to get on it not a big deal in my opinion I've dealt with it I like it it doesn't bother me I know that I don't strip out a bolt as much so uh flexible wrenches oh spline drive oh yeah you guys have heard me I hate spline drive and uh, the reason why I hate spline drive is because not necessarily how they fit on the fastener. It's what they do to the fastener. And if you and, and a lot of people have been really diligent about telling you about spline drive, I've noticed lately, about getting your fast your your ratchet, wrench, socket, if it's spline drive, on that socket. Get down in there. Bear down on that fella and get right in there. You don't want to mess around when you're using spline drives, but if she's got a little bit of, if she's a little bit uh, tough to get out of there, these spline drives, see those little rounded, see those little rounded, uh, little rounded deals there for the spline drive. Those little suckers will tend to uh, mar up the corners of your fastener, and then they stick. And now you gotta, now you gotta fight it to get out of there. See that? I'm actually. Just putting a little bit of tension on there they they will stick in there and uh they're they're a little bit so if you notice i spray a little wd-40 down on my spline drives that's the reason why i do that so it kind of keeps that a little bit it keeps it from fighting it so much um and and that's the trick that i do for these mountain wrenches uh something that for you guys that if you're wondering and you have noticed that with your spline drives shoot them things with a little bit of the old WD-40. Just shoot the end of it there. Man, even dunk it down in your... You know, don't be scared to dump it down in your used oil if you have to. I, I don't, you know. You can wipe that stuff off. These chrome, they ain't going to hurt your, your tools. A little bit of extra lube ain't going to hurt them. Uh, thin wrenches. Capri thin wrenches. Uh, these actually fit really good on, on this. Uh, I was really impressed with this when I actually looked down on it. These fit really fairly good. Also... There's also a new technology where I've seen a lot of people do this, and that's these cutouts. This is a Capri wrench. Very, and I'll tell you what, guys, they have the wave drive system on these where it's got a little bit of a bite to them. Another six-point wrench, very fine tooth, reversible. They work fantastic, I'm not going to lie. But I really, really, really dig this option here. I've been noticing. got to turn it. It's hard for me to get this thing shaked up right the way. But look at this. That bolt sets right down in there. She hugs her. Hugs are real nice, you know. Just gets in there, and I've noticed that these things are fantastic. Lot less, lot less uh, spread on the end of your wrench because it's getting it down in there further. So you're putting more force and pressure down in the in the inner part of your wrench, which is what you want if you need to use your open end stuff. Ah, yes. And last but not least. Now we're going to talk about one more thing, but. The, and then one more thing is we got here is straight versus angled ratcheting wrenches. Now, I actually like this. This is my Blackhawk wrench, Taiwan made. I understand. It's not USA made. Had these forever. I really like these. I tend to use these a lot. I like the straight wrenches, the straight ratcheting wrenches. To me, they. I know where I'm going to get in an, an area where it's going to be not exactly the most ideal place for me to be. And I'm going to get stuck. So, obviously, I'm going to use this ratcheting wrench first because I can get the angle and it's reversed. Boop! You know, I get that back. So, everybody always says don't buy the straight wrenches. I don't necessarily believe... if you're. It, it makes you a smarter tech if you use a straight wrench because you'll know not to get in those areas. And I'll tell you what, these aren't a bad option. You know, a straight gear wrench, ratcheting wrench, whatever... I really don't hate these things. I, these are what I cut my teeth on. I started using these. These were what were out when I first started, when these when these ratcheting wrenches first came out, and they and they really aren't a bad option. I have had a couple times, but I've never been stuck somewhere where I couldn't get off of it. I literally have not been in a spot where I couldn't get off of it. I'm not advocating these as saying that they're the best things on sliced bread. I'm just saying I don't hate them. I would buy a set of them and not really be too worried about it. If I needed a set of ratcheting wrenches. And they were a reasonable price, and that's all I could afford. You're gonna be all right with them. 
All right. And the last thing here before I stop bending your guys' ear is the big elephant in the room, and that's the flank drive. Uh, the flank drive system with the snap-on. Um, now, a lot of guys have talked to me about, because I have the Mac knuckle savers, and the reason why they're called Mac knuckle savers and the reason why these are called flank bites is because of the flanking system in there, which that means that it grabs the fastener and it just locks down in there. Now, uh, I have noticed in the past when I've used these wrenches that I have marred up some fasteners. To me, that is a bad thing. I don't like that because if you're putting that fastener back in, the next tech that comes along, he's going to throw his regular wrench on there and it's probably going to mess it up. He's going to be stuck with a, um, a wrench that's... Uh, um, he's going to be stuck with a wrench that's, that's that, or a uh, fastener that's literally chewed up and it's going to need to be replaced possibly strip it out you're giving him a hard time you're making it hard for the next guy and i'll tell you what guys i'm a big advocate of, of watching what i do for the next guy so i have always been a proprietor of the knuckle saber wrench and this is why these have just a little anti-slip design with a little cut on there in the end see that and the precision torques are no different so the precision torque follows suit with that with the mac knuckle savers and it's got that little lip and what it does let me put that wrench down and what it does is when you get that fastener locked up in there it locks that onto that little lip locks that corner up on there so it doesn't pull off so it locks in there that's all it's meant to do is to keep you from slipping off the fastener that's what the flank bite system was designed for too is to bite the fastener more keep it from slipping off it's an anti-slip design I'm sure a lot of you guys know that, but there's a lot of young techs that get on my channel, and I'm giving them that, and this is why I'm passing along this information. Now, I do, you know, these wrenches right here are all similar. Mac, SK, these are regular combination wrenches. They're all pretty similar. I have not had a problem. These are my first wrenches, my SKs. I bought these, and I love them. They're super chromes, USA made, been great wrenches, and I've had them for years. Then I bought the Mac Knuckle Sabers, and I started using them, and I love these. These are a little bit square design, and uh, I've, they were my go-to for a long time. Then, recently, I have had these precision torques, and I got to tell you, I really like these. And the one biggest thing that I notice about these is, is grip placement. See where my fingers go on this wrench? Every time I grab this wrench, my fingers fall right into that groove on that wrench, and it feels like this, hand, this, this wrench was just designed for my hand it might not fit everybody's and they might not be great for everybody but i do enjoy these and also the offset on these has been absolutely fantastic you will notice that the offset is way different than a snap-on <clears throat> that you can get in behind and that little zero degree head there will allow you to slip in behind something and grab a, a, a fastener where this one's going to be away from the fastener when it gets in there so it's just a different advantage in getting a wrench um mostly the snap-on and the mac regular wrenches all have those all have the same they have the same degree of offset for the wrench without that zero degree see that Doo -doo -doo -doo. so there you go fellas now blow up that comment box tell me what you think let's have a discussion about it. there's probably going to be more videos that come out on this because wrenches are a huge part of the mechanic industry, something that almost every mechanic uses every day. And having the right wrench and having a wrench that works for you is definitely what you want. Did I, I didn't show you one variety of wrench because I'm not advocating one variety of wrench. You want to buy what works for you. You want to have something that works for you and you want to enjoy what you work for you. I have ended up buying all these wrenches because I didn't always, I didn't necessarily always like what I got. <coughs> Excuse me. I will tell you, after all this time, you know, I have definitely, I am, I am, I am definitely in love with these precision torque wrenches. I am a fanboy of precision torque wrenches, so it is what it is. So, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Appreciate you. Remember, like, comment, share, subscribe, ring that bell. Remember, keep your hands dirty and your money clean. Thanks for watching.